Barney, I ain't never gonna fit into that thing. Now, don't get facetious with me, Otis. But don't get facetious. What a crime stopper, Barney Fife. Boy Don Knotts was one of the most goofy and lovable actors of the 20th century. Don Knotts soon discovered that he, much like Benny Hill, had a knack for delivering the funniest lines and perfected his comedic timing. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and I aspire to be just as funny as Don Knotts one day. Did him ch. So let's jump in and see how I do. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up for us and subscribe to Do You Remember so you never miss an episode. Jesse Donald Knotts was born on July 21st, 1924 in Morgantown, West Virginia. The youngest of four, Don may have typically played lighthearted and fun characters on TV and movies, but his childhood was anything but pleasant. A troubled childhood. The Knotts children grew up during the Great Depression, and Don remembered his family as not having a lot. In addition to financial struggles, Don had to be careful around his father. His dad was an alcoholic and suffered from schizophrenia. He threatened to kill his wife and also threatened Don a few times holding a knife to his neck. Don's father passed away from pneumonia a few years later in 1937, when Don was just 13 years old. After his dad's death, Don and his three brothers grew up in the boarding house operated by his mother. And then tragedy struck again. Don's oldest brother, Earl, passed away five years after his dad did, due to asthma complications. Don's daughter, Karen, would later share that Don spent many years in therapy working through this troubled past, but that he did ultimately get through it, with the help of entertaining. Don did what during World War II? Knotts' entertainment career began in high school when he performed as a ventriloquist. After graduation, he continued performing and began attending classes at West Virginia University, but eventually put his education on hold to serve in the United States Army during World War II. What we do here, Private, is to evaluate your manual dexterity on a time scale in relation to digital visual coordination. An urban legend stated that Knotts was a drill instructor at Paris Island in the Marine Corps, but this just isn't true. Can you imagine Don shouting at people all the time? Well, maybe as Barney Five. The truth is, he was assigned to the Special Services Branch to entertain the troops as a member of the group Stars and Gripes. He performed with his puppet, Danny Hooch Matador, but Knotts eventually decided to ditch the puppet and threw him over the side of the ship. Knotts then proceeded to tell people that Danny was missing in action. Luckily, then Don Knotts began performing by himself, and boy was he good at it. The comedian we all know and love finally had a chance to shine. He was discharged in 1946 at technician grade 5, or the equivalent of a corporal. For his service, Knotts received the World War II Victory Medal, Philippine Liberation Medal, as well as many others. Do you remember thanks you, Don, for your service? And to all the brave men and women who have served our armed forces. The acting debut. Knotts then returned to West Virginia U to finish his education and graduated in 1948. He soon landed a role on the soap opera Search for Tomorrow from 53 to 55. His next major role was on the Steve Allen Plymouth show when he began appearing on the show around 1956 and perfected his high-strung fidgety persona that he would become known for. Next, he appeared in several films in the 1960s, most notably a fan favorite, The Incredible Mr. Limpet. I wish, I wish I were a fish. He wonderfully played a man who transforms into a talking fish in order to help the United States Navy locate Nazi submarines. Another successful movie for Knotts was The Ghost in Mr. Chicken in 1966, which was based loosely around an episode of The Andy Griffith Show, where Barney, Andy, and Gomer had to go into an old house to retrieve Opie's baseball. Speaking of Andy and Don, let's talk about how they met. A tale as old as time. Now, I'd say something funny to Andy, sometimes he'd run clear across the sound stage. <laughs> He's just very demonstrative. them. Andy and Don actually met on Broadway, both appearing in the production No Time for Sergeants, and they'd later star in the film adaptation of the program as well. Don Knotts shined on the Andy Griffith Show from 1960 to 1968 as Deputy Sheriff Barney Fife, alongside, of course, Andy Griffith. Knotts was so good at this role that he won five Emmy Awards for Best Supporting Actor from 61 to 67. And if you've not seen our deep dive into the Andy Griffith Show, be sure to check that one out next. 
Rumors circulated about why Don Knotts left The Andy Griffith Show. Some people said that Knotts and Andy Griffith had a fallout, but this just isn't true. Andy Griffith had long stated that he didn't want the show to go more than five seasons, and Don Knotts had already begun looking for a new acting gig. Knotts had a contract with Universal for movies, and then Andy was persuaded to extend the show for three more years. He was sad to leave the show, but knew it was time. He still appeared as a guest in Mayberry from time to time. Because Andy and Don had such a good relationship, they were always pranking each other on the set of The Andy Griffith Show. It's been long rumored that Francis Bavier, aka Aunt B, would often get very annoyed by the two men's pranks. Come on, Aunt B, they're just trying to have some fun. Andy and Don later paired up in Matlock 20 years after the pair's success on The Andy Griffith Show. Not done yet. After leaving The Andy Griffith Show, Don Knotts signed a five-year movie contract with Universal. He then tried his hand at hosting a variety show. Unfortunately, that was not very successful, but he soon knocked on the right door when he joined Three's company as the wacky but lovable landlord Ralph Furley from 1979 to 84. So you fail, big deal, look at me. I fail almost everything I've ever tried. <laughs> Knotts' Furley had many of the same mannerisms as Barney Fife. It really was a wonderful performance by Knotts. Even while acting, Don found time to write and publish a biography titled Barney Fife and Other Characters I Have Known. There's, there's, it's a, you have to, don't, what did he say? There's, there's, it's a, you have to, don't, one of his final performances was voicing Mayor Turkey Lurkey in the 2005 animated film Chicken Little. And in true Don Knotts fashion, Mayor Turkey Lurkey appears as a nervous and often distracted bird. A family man. Don Knotts was married three times, and his daughter Karen joked, saying, quote, He really was quite the ladies' man. First, he married Catherine Metz in 1947, and their marriage lasted 17 years. They had two children, a boy and a girl, Thomas and then Karen, before the couple divorced in 1964. Knotts and his second wife, Laura Lee, were married from 1974 to 1983. His final wife was Frances Yarborough. The couple married in 2002 and remained together until Don passed away in 2006. Don's legacy immortalized. The most beloved person in all of show business. Everyone loved Don Knotts, and who wouldn't? He was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2000. A little over a decade later, his hometown commissioned Jamie Lester to create a sculpture of the comedic icon. The great Don Knotts passed away on February 24th, 2006 from lung cancer complications. He was 81 years old. His daughter Karen and Andy Griffith himself were with him at his bedside until the end. Karen Knotts recalled that she had to leave the room where her father lay, not to cry, but to laugh, because he was literally cracking jokes and telling stories on his deathbed. Truly a comedian until the end. Don, we miss you and thank you for all the laughter and joy that you brought into our lives for so many years. Luckily, we can visit you whenever we want to go back to Mayberry. Do you have a personal favorite character that Don Knotts portrayed? Many will say Barney Fife or Ralph Furley, maybe Mr. Limpet. But does anyone have a different favorite? Let us know in the comments below. We read every one. And if you enjoyed revisiting the life of Don Knotts, consider clicking that thumbs up for us and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a throwback video. From all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks very much for watching.